Road crews, we know, and emergency responders, they are working very hard to help those who find themselves stuck in this winter storm. Lieutenant Gordon Shank from the Minnesota State Patrol joins us now with an update on the situation out on the roads. Good morning, Lieutenant. Nice to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us on. We appreciate it. You bet. Uh, Lieutenant Shank, what, what are some of the latest crash numbers you're seeing, and are they more or less than we were expecting? Yeah, we, we didn't see a ton of crashes or vehicles off road through the night. We'll, we'll update on Twitter at about 730 this morning, but we're starting to see a lot of vehicles off road this in the early morning hours. So for us, we're just asking drivers, if you can wait it out, please do. If you can't make sure you drive to conditions, you check 511. Um, if, if you can't make it, you got to work around it. We don't want to see it in the ditch or in a crash. So our, our traffic safety is our number one goal here. So between the weather conditions and the number of calls, what kind of response time should people expect uh, from the state patrol if they do find themselves in, you know, for instance, a spin out? That's a good question. It's going to vary by district and the amount of calls of service at that time, but our troopers will get there as soon as we can. And it may vary if there's a couple crashes. As you've been updating, there's crashes on 35W, there's uh, semis blocking ramps. So troopers are responding to assist, but expect a little bit of time if, uh, if you find yourself in that situation, but we'll get there as soon as we can to help you. And we know, uh, unfortunately, not every driver is prepared, packs an emergency kit. So what is the one thing you recommend they remember when driving in a storm like this? Yeah, if you can make sure you have gloves, jacket, coat, blankets, mm -hmm. those types of things, if you find yourself in the unexpected situation that you end up in the ditch, uh, we want to make sure that you have things so you can stay warm, especially as the temperatures start to drop and having water, things like that in your vehicle are always a plus. So if you remember those things, make sure you at least have some of those types of things in your vehicle in case you find yourself in this situation. Right. Yeah, phone charger and, and maybe even a snow shovel if you uh, get stuck and you're not on the, for instance, the freeway. Um, so you're working around the clock. Uh, how does the State Patrol, how do you kind of keep up morale on days like this where clearly you're putting in a few extra hours? Yeah, that's a good question. A lot like the state and the people that live in it, troopers are resilient. And for us, we, 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 take pride in helping people and every time we're out there the drivers that are involved they they thank us and so for us that gives us motivation we just want to help people so we're out there we're doing what we can to help everyone that finds himself in need and for us that motivates us to keep going and to make sure we're out there checking on every crash or vehicle off-road to help as much as we can as we can well we thank you lieutenant gordon shank for taking some time out to chat with us this morning from the minnesota state patrol thanks for the work you folks are doing and we appreciate your time this morning thank you you bet.